What's up everyone, my name is Trevor and I am the Gaming Goomba. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is one of the greatest video games of all time. And last week in my E3 review video, I talked about how the announcement of a sequel wasn't exactly a surprise for me. Breath of the Wild is the closest I have ever come to what I would describe as the perfect gaming experience. Starting off with literally nothing other than a pair of underwear and slowly working your way up to a fearless Hylian Knight. Not through a boring experience bar, but through mastering the controls and taking advantage of the resources around you. The whole point of Breath of the Wild is to make yourself as strong as you possibly can before your inevitable battle with Calamity Ganon. As most of you know, at the start of the game you can essentially go straight to Hyrule Castle and take on Calamity Ganon. While it's nearly impossible, it is an option. In the real world, if you had a quest to go on, you would have the option to go straight to the source of the problem without learning anything about the problem or preparing physically for it. Real life isn't linear, and that's what I love about this game. After you get the glider from the king, they basically rip the training wheels off and kick you down a hill. You are always aware what the ultimate goal is. The game constantly reminds you by having the castle visible from almost every tower you visit. But other than that, you are free to explore every aspect of this post-apocalyptic world, and that is what I love about this near-perfect game. But notice I said near-perfect. There is one thing I was disappointed in after finishing Breath of the Wild, and that brings us into the topic of this video. What do I want from a Breath of the Wild sequel? Do you guys remember that insane cinematic Breath of the Wild trailer that was shown at the Nintendo Switch Unveil Show in January 2017? It was absolutely incredible. It kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time. The champions looked amazing, the music was amazing, and we were finally getting cutscenes with English voice actors. Ugh, and that scene of Zelda crying and falling into Link's arms gives me chills every time. I love digging into the lore of The Legend of Zelda. I mean, that's why I love this freaking book so much. Going into a new Zelda game and not being told where on the timeline it took place was exciting to me. It was like while I was playing the game, I was also trying to uncover the mystery of at what point in Hyrule's history did this game take place. On the other hand, I love when games reward your progression through a game with beautiful HD cutscenes, especially the series that I have nostalgia for like Zelda and Mario. So when I found out that the majority of the cutscenes that we saw in the trailers were only accessible through unlocking memories that aren't even required to beat the game, I was pretty bummed out. This is what I hope is corrected in the sequel. After watching this trailer a few dozen times and watching Arlo's insanely long frame-by-frame -frame analyzation of it, thanks Arlo, I'm hoping the fact that our first look at this game has a focus on story and lore means that is exactly what we'll get more of in the sequel. Basically, I just hope this sequel expands on lore established by Breath of the Wild and has a bigger story presence overall. Zelda has been locked away for over a hundred years. Her kingdom is now in ruin. All of her friends and family are dead with the exception of Link. Hell, I would not be mad at all if Zelda was the primary focus of the game. In fact, I would love that. However, gameplay always comes before story in a video game. I'm just hoping that since the gameplay mechanics have already been developed, the Zelda team is able to give us an intense and dramatic story to go along with this incredible world they've created, complete with pre-rendered and voice acted cutscenes. While I would still be more than happy to play a sequel without all these things, this is something that I believe would create the perfect video game experience for me. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see in the sequel to Breath of the Wild. I'd love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.